All right, welcome to Optimal Training Group. Isaac Segundo here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use patching to attach an, uh, a document to a SharePoint list item. So, not too long ago, I was working on a project and I was using patching and I just couldn't figure out how to add an attachment um, to a list using patch. And I went through the web, looked everywhere and on YouTube and everybody was showing these complicated um, solutions, you know, using a, you know, Power Automate and all these different things. And I did see a video and I just want to give a shout out to We Tech Care of You. That's a clever name. I like that. And I kind of saw his video and he kind of showed, he showed this solution that I'm about to show you. So anyway, here's my form. I have a SharePoint list co called expense data. I've already done the work as far as creating the patch function. And all we need to do now in, for the attachment is we need to take advantage of the edit form. So if you come over here to insert, click on this edit form and attach it to the data source, which is your ex my expense report in my case. And then we're going to change this display mode to new. You probably don't even have to do that, but I did that anyway. And then we're going to select it over here on the right hand side in the panel where it says fields, we're going to edit fields. And then we're going to remove all the fields except the attachment. Remove. So we just have our attachment. So now you can, let's decrease the width of it. Let's open that back up. And let me decrease the height. Okay, okay, it doesn't even matter, but there you go. All right, let me bring that down a little bit. Okay, this is not cooperating. Mm -hmm. right, let me see if I just do the arrow. No, that's not working. All right, I had to keep playing with it. Anyway, so I have my attachment. And if you, when you click on this, and I open up my tree view, you see that the name of this is form five. You can also rename it. Let me, let me rename it to, let's rename it to form attachment. It doesn't matter. So now let's go to our patch function on select. Now, all you have to do now to include that is you just do a comma and then you say um what do i call a form attachment and then you just say updates and that is basically all you have to do you don't have to do any power automate just that name the name of the form dot updates let's go try this out my form is empty Let's come here. All right, so let's put in um, attach, attachment test. Let's do the 30th. This is a test of the patch in. All right, let me add a document here. Let me just pick any document. Let me add another one just to see. And submit. As you can see, it's thinking. All right, now let's go to our SharePoint list. Refresh. Oh, there it is. So now let's go edit the form and see. Edit. Oh, and there's our, there's our attachments. So just a quick recap 
you know, um, at the end of your formula, just make sure you add the edit form, remove all the fields except the attachment, and then at the end of your patch function, you add the name of your form, which for me is form attachment, and then you put a dot update, and then it updates the SharePoint list that you're on. So I hope that helps. Please like the video and please share. Um, put any comments below, any questions that you have. Thank you. Bye.